I just arrived at the Dunkard Church and uh, it's basically a meeting house um, from way back in the day and a cemetery at the uh, Blooming Grove Historical Society. Let's check it out. So yeah, um, German colonists came here in um, 1805 seeking religious freedom and they built this in 1828 which is this um, structure right here. Um, I think it's uh, mostly original. I was, my dad brought me here when I was a kid. Um, so that's why I remember it. We grew up on a uh, Bloomy Grove Road, which is uh, um, where many of these settlers lived, apparently. This is the rear of the building, just another angle to get in the whole, um, show the whole meeting house. It's, it's a small building. It's kind of like a cabin. It served as a, a church and where they could, you know, meet and um, uh, basically practice their religion and, you know, um, cause they were seeking religious freedom. And, um, not that I am not a religious expert, so scholar, so not my area of expertise. I'm just, um, kind of here, um, sort of as, you know, in, in interest of sort of seeking, uh, paranormal activity. Um, not that I'm going to find it on a sunny Saturday afternoon. Um, but um, I'm sure the place has its ghosts. And behind it is a substantially sized, very old cemetery. Um, they're always cool to explore and see, you know, what, what the date or era the cemetery is from when it's a cemetery like this and they're, most of the, the uh, graves are very old. And, um, some of them are a bit, there's a lot that are newer, um, on this side over here, but, um, over here are some very old ones, probably pretty difficult to read. Here's some, two, the last name, surname, Keys, spelled K-I-E-S, and they died in 1858, one of them. One of them was born in 1785, so they go back a ways. Um, just very, very uh, old school. It's called old school. Very old school tombstones. And the one I cannot read totally, that is, um, the elements have gotten the better of it. This one is another, it's a Keese, spelled K-I, George Keese, K-I-E-S-S, -S, and he died in 1899. He was 76, which is a pretty good age, to, uh, back then. And there's tombstones, of course, that are, have fallen over. It's just laying on its on, on oh, upside down or whatever. Not upside down, but on its face. And here's some a few more examples of some very old tombstones. And you can read them. This looks like something from right out of a horror movie. And um, garden, pretty legible. But it's hard to the the font is is very kind of ornate. Gardenia Double Wertheim. There's another one that's got moss all over it, or whatever you call it. Yeah, kind of moss on top of it. This person, oh, kind of hard to read it because it's dark. It's, it's the same, uh, I think, family. I don't know if that says Ulmer or... 
and there's a huge, huge one that's leaning backwards, and I can't, it's the same name, it's, it begins with, I think, a G, I think it might be the, uh, family plot stone, and there might be several people interred here, um, but yeah, it's, it's the thing with these really old tombstones, it's difficult to read them. This is where the newer graves are, and there are a lot of familiar names from this area where I grew up. Um, I'm not really going to name them all, just <laughs> I know they're familiar. Um, and I'm not sure. This is sort of a very... Around, around this is kind of a very developed, kind of somewhat rural area. Um, uh, of just newer homes, so it's kind of, I don't want to use the term gentrified, but um, it's its not super isolated, even though it is also way out in the country, um, as it once was. Um, but yeah, a lot of these folks are people who live around here. I don't know any of, uh, any of them haunt the Dunkard uh, church and meeting house. Um, unfortunately, I can't um, get a tour of it today because it's closed. I've been in it before when I was a kid, and um, it's basically, you know, it's like a very simple kind of, if you'd imagine like a Quaker church or something, just, you know, um, benches as pews and, um, you know, that kind of thing you've seen in like movies from like about a church from the 1700s. This is what it looks like just through the window. It's best I can do. Um, as I was, was describing, it's these just a rows of benches and. Um, there's a little bit of a little museum tour in there, and there's also a building, a neighboring building with a well, museum building that they built to uh, uh, for more of the uh, artifacts of the time um, are in there on display. So, yeah, just um, behind these two, one of the two oldest tombstones is the. Uh, Dunker Church Museum. Um, it's right next to the church, and that's where you basically go to get, like, learn the history of this whole place and everything. And um, when I was a kid, I don't think this was here yet. You just basically, everything was in this building, it was in the old meeting house, but um, they got you know, probably some funds and built this place. So, uh, um, I've been meaning to go to it, but I haven't actually been to it, but I wanted to do a video about this anyway, and, um, since my days off are, are few and far between, I had to choose today. So, uh, unfortunately it's not open, otherwise I'd be, um, have a little bit more of an, ex give a more expansive sort of history about the place and everything that I intended upon doing. But interesting nonetheless. And here are more just old tombstones. 
And I did want to learn whether there was any hauntings around here because of the place's history and long history and everything. And um, I was interested in talking to someone about that. Um, so that didn't happen. But uh, nonetheless, you know, just can't... Um, just coming up here to see the tombstones and the old meeting house and everything, um, at least was, um, sufficient in coming out here to, uh, take a look at this cool place. Here I am at the towards the top of the cemetery, just checking it out. Um, just you know, think about this old place. There's someone has like a dog by their tombstone up there. I think I can zoom in on it. Yeah, there's a little dog. Oh my god, that's adorable. Sad the dog died along well the owner. I'm assuming passed away, maybe the dog's buried with them, huh? I didn't even think about that. This place, you know, I don't know if, I mean, it's old, it's not Salem witch old, but I think if you were accused of witchcraft in the 1700s, you could, you didn't get, like, burned at the stake, you had, like, a, you got prosecuted, and maybe you had a defense attorney, like, law and order, I don't know. That was supposed to be a joke. This is the road that just kind of goes down the middle of the cemetery, obviously. Which I'm heading down and heading out. This is the, uh, one of the entrances to the museum. I think it's the main one. Um, but there's another white door over here. Again, I haven't ever been in here. I'm thinking maybe that stone building is an original or an older building. Um, but this is something a lot newer. Um, but yeah, you probably go in there and, um, I don't know, plunk down a few bucks and they show you around and all the all the historical, you know, whatever garments, things people wore tools people used, things like that are in there. Stuff I saw over in the old building a long time ago. Um, and that's about as expansive as I can get on it um, on this um, lovely Saturday afternoon. Um, I hope you like the little tour here. Um, I'm going to get going before, you know, the people who live in the neighborhood start calling the police or something if I'm, you know, trespassing when the place isn't open. So, um, take care.